Hi everyone, I hope you're okay. Um, I'm here today to talk to you about a brand new product from the guys at Noisy Hammer. Now these, I'll show you these straight away, are their brand new bass drum beaters. All hand built, all hand made here in Norwich in the UK. Um, before we go through these actual uh, ones which are now in production, I just wanted to show some of the prototypes. I was lucky enough to work alongside Noisy Hammer to um, research and develop these beaters. So these were some of the, the initial prototypes. So what we've got here is, is a mixture of these ones were maple, these ones were birch, these were, were plies and these were solid. Um, also these ones have um, uh, stabilised resin in them as well. So here we've obviously got a red resin and this has got a blue resin which kind of gives that cool kind of flamey kind of effect which is which is quite nice. Um, these these first initial ones, I mean obviously they, they look lovely and they played lovely. Um, one thing that, that happened though is we put these on the slightly thicker rods. Okay, so those ones unfortunately they only fit kind of old school pedals. So for example um, something like a Premier 252 legendary pedal you can see one of the beaters on there, and it's lovely. Um, but um, most modern day pedals actually take a smaller diameter rod. Um, so the new ones have got um, thinner rods, so they'll fit into any standard pedal. Also we found like with these initial ones, um, I found when playing them, they, they were a little bit too heavy. These were about 130, 140 grams whereas um, they needed to be more about 100 grams. Okay, so um, as I said, these were some prototypes and there were some great ideas there. Um, you know, things like this ply effect I think is pretty cool and I'd, I'd like to see that um, come out more when Noisy Hammer do some more of these. But on to the actual ones which are now, as I said, these are now in production. So as I say, they're on the, the much smaller rod okay so these are all galvanized steel uh, six millimeters so I say they, they will fit into any standard pedal um, these are all solid wood as well um, some of these are, are slightly um, deeper than others for example you might be able to see that this one here is slightly not quite as deep so that one isn't quite so heavy okay so um, I guess first of all, you know, why are why are bass drum beaters important? I mean, you know, that that's kind of a really important question because most of the time, you know, it's funny, um, most drummers we, we kind of forget almost about the bass drum beater and we tend to just stick with the stock beater that, that came on our pedal. And that's kind of strange really because, you know, we spend so much time looking at what heads we use, what tunings we use. Uh, what dampening we use, do we use moon gel, do we need o-rings, what do we put in the bass drum pedal, we think about sticks quite a lot. Beaters tend to be sort of right down on our um, on our list of, of things to change and to try out, which is odd because you know you think this is the thing that connects our foot and our pedal that we probably spent quite a lot of money on um, to the actual bass drum. So. Yeah, this is vitally important. Now, you know, you can you can get beaters in all different materials. Um, common ones, you get uh, felt ones, plastic ones, and wooden ones. And each will have their own kind of properties. Um, and what I'll do in a minute, I'm going to do a little comparison video so you can hear the difference between these new wood ones, uh, felt ones, and plastic ones, okay? So what we're going to do, first of all, is I'm going to put these on the pedal have a listen to them um, and try and get a feel for them as well and um, that very quickly is is another hugely important reason for what pedal uh, what beta sorry we we put in our pedals is not only the sound difference but how it feels um, some people prefer like a weightier heavier beta you know especially if you play heavy um, I'm quite a heavy player so I'd, I prefer to have that that weighted feeling Whereas, you know, maybe some, someone who plays lighter, you know, possibly plays more jazz or whatever, might prefer a, a much lighter weighted one as well. So, 
yeah, the, the feel is, is as important as the sound. But anyway, we're going to whack these on the pedal and then we'll go from there. Right, so a quick little recap on these different beaters. Um, I definitely found, I don't know if you could hear this in the recording, um, probably best to listen to these with headphones on as well. Um, the, the biggest difference was between, unsurprisingly, the felt, the old school felt one that I put on and the noisy hammer wooden ones. Um, these, the wooden ones definitely gave a much stronger attack. Um, they felt a lot heavier as well. Whereas um, the felt one definitely was, was lighter in touch um, and it definitely gave a bit, a bit more of a warmer, rounded sound. So, yeah, you know, I mean, the, the plastic was somewhere in the middle, I guess. So, you know, you're probably going from the warmest to the middle to the one with the most attack. Um, I did find, you know, the ones that were, were slightly shallower, again, you know, there was, there's less weight to it. So it didn't feel quite so solid um, underfoot, but you know that's my personal opinion. My my favourite was definitely this one. Um, felt absolutely yeah lovely. So yeah, feels good, sounds good, looks beautiful. So yeah, I was very happy with that. So um, yeah, just kind of a quick little recap. Um, Noisy Hammer, if you haven't come across them, I so said they're based here in Norwich in the UK. They're run by a good buddy of mine called Ryan, who is an incredibly passionate um, carpenter and a brilliant musician in his own right, and also a sound engineer. And he has combined his two loves to create this absolutely beautiful, bespoke business. And they're really catering for everyone at the moment. They do the absolutely the most gorgeous, um, customizable amps. Um, definitely worth going onto their website. They do um, cases for like Kemper and stuff like that as well. So worth worth looking at them. Um, it's really nice as well to um, to see little independent businesses doing really well in in these hard times. Um, you know, we can talk a lot about big corporations and big businesses um, driving the the cost down and online sales and music shops closing and all of this but it's it's really kind of quite heartwarming at, at this point to see um, like a really young um, innov innovative <laughs> I can never say that word I'll try that again Inniv innovate innovative 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 how do you say that word um, and it's, it is really brilliant to see kind of these young companies out there building, you know, these absolutely beautiful custom built stuff all by hand. Um, and, I, and I feel like we as musicians and we as people and as a society, we should, we should definitely try and show our support. Um, and yeah, head on to their website. These are now available to order. Head over there, get yourself one. Let me know how you get on and I'll catch you guys soon. Take care. Bye.